My name is Biddy Scott and I like drawing more than painting but two-dimensional definitely and the main medium I'd use would be probably because I like drawing is pen, pencil but in, if, I, if I want to paint I tend to draw with oils or with um, I'm very fond of egg tempera. Egg tempera is the what came before our oils were invented so like if you look for early, any medi early medieval or medieval art or early renaissance art or frescoes is basically egg, tempo, egg tempera so instead of using oil as the medium for mixing it up you use egg and it lasts forever the romans used it that was great yes byzantine icons all that stuff is egg tempera beautiful lovely lovely drawing medium in paint nice I've given over one of the rooms in my house to a nice messy room but then I think that it's interesting because you can like there's messy art and tidy art so I do my tidy art egg tempera you have to be tidy you know messy stuff you know that's okay but but to be honest with you I wonder once with the drawing um the way at the moment I tend to draw which is a bit tight and I, I don't like it but uh is I, I, I kind of get the outline and then I do the filling in bit and the filling in bit is definitely definitely best in front of the telly but mostly mostly I like to do this uh, well yes I think if I was starting a drawing I'd add the lightest possible draw, uh, pencil so like you know a, a H pencil and then trying to get uh, the more the advanced with the drawing then you go darker and darker to get something that's got a bit of drama about it but and mostly with pens Pens are lovely. I like pens mostly more than anything else. But I always, nearly always use the smallest possible pen I can get. So it would be an 005. So and then and then just draw little lines with it. it takes forever, but it's um well when the telly's on it's grand. And if there's something nice on the telly, you can draw with an 005 forever and ever and ever. You get through it. <laughs> it's good. <laughs> or listening to the radio or something else. You can just do it. I'm not that serious. I think drawing just comes easier. It's not. It's not. It's not complicated. It's just easier to do. Um, I've got. I've got a feeling that people tend to be either really, really good at color, or they, or they like lines. And I think I'm just. I just like drawing lines. Like, and even when I use paint, I tend to paint lines. <laughs> that's, that's, <laughs> does that make sense? Okay, it's <laughs> good. It kind of makes sense to me, but not to a lot of other people. <laughs> I'm doing stuff at the moment. I'm doing um, a drawing course, which I really like because it's actually really seriously gone back to basics. So we're really going back to uh, measuring and the, the, the t looking at the tension between gestural drawing and measuring drawing. And I think that's actually, if I had started that a long time ago, that would have been maybe helpful because I think it's amazing. Yeah, I really like that. And, and I don't know that I've exactly had a journey. Um, I did go to, I was always interested in doing art. So I eventually got to art college. I went to Dunleary, but as a, on the access course in the middle of the 1990s. So that was when I was working and this was after work. So that, and I did that and that was, that was a bit of, revel, of a revelation, though it was an interesting experience. And then after that, I've been doing stuff off and off and off and on and off and on, but um, whenever I have the opportunity. So I, and I got, I suppose that the main thing that I think would be deviant is that when I went to art college, I got very, art college had a very, um, it was wonderful, but it had a very, very specific idea of what you're supposed to be doing. And so drawing was out of fashion at that stage, painting was in, abstract was in, and I got quite interested in why fashions changed so I ended up doing a huge amount of art history and I've just finished my last thing on art history so I've done art history more or less I've been doing more art, art history than I have art oh they change every week so, yes so what can I say I, I was I suppose off and on my favorite artist would be Chagall but in art history terms I got very interested in William Connor who was the Belfast artist so I did an awful lot of bits in and around him, but he's not anybody anybody would have heard of down here. Belfast, yes. Here, no, but there. Mm. Oh God, I don't think I'd advise anybody to do anything. I don't, I just, I don't, 
that would be really really serious i think unless unless just enjoy it and and try not to take it too seriously anyway it depends how seriously they want to take it i mean i do get it that people have to make money and have to earn livings and that's the beauty like i say i was talking to they do before about retirement that you don't have to take anything seriously anymore because it's too late it's bliss yeah but but i th- definitely think yes no some people can get terribly terribly sincere about it you know and i think that kind of takes the joy out of it a little bit too much that's i always think that if somebody looks at a picture it's really not the business of the artist to say what anybody gets out of it it's entirely up to them and if they can get anything out of it that's okay but if they can't that's okay too i don't i really don't think that uh, the, the artist should dictate any reaction or anyway i don't like the word artist actually that's terrible i shouldn't say that but i don't think anybody who doodles the doodler should not dictate the doodler should not dictate <laughs> any reaction i think an artist is somebody who goes to work and doodlers don't <laughs> I think this was kind of a bit of an accident, but anyway, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. <laughs> yes. This is the, 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 when I've shown stuff before, it's tended to be a bit sort of landscapey and stuff. But this, I got, uh, this kind of stuff got started during, you know, the way during COVID, you had an awful lot of time in your hands watching a lot of telly. <laughs> so I ended up getting really interested in two things, basically. I started getting interested in this stone head that is in the National Museum. It's called the Corlick head. It's a stone which has got three faces on it. So I kept drawing the stone over and over and over again. And then as a sort of counter to that, I went back to, I've always had a thing about feathers. I like drawing, well, feathers and pens go well together. So I have a thing about drawing feathers. So it ended up being a sort of like a thing between feathers and stones. So that's why I ended up basing the whole thing on a poem that's uh, called The Choice. Um, and the poem is about really it's not about feathers and stones really but it's the choice between the 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 reality and imagination so it was kind of a balance that's that's that doesn't make any sense at all does it no (laughs) don't worry (laughs) that that that's what the show is basically about and a few other things thrown in like the odd um bit out of the book of revelations i've got a couple of angels that i found in a medieval thing that i was studying with art history and um, it, they're nice because they're hurling. It's all about the end of the world, and like it feels like that just at the moment. So that's good. I'm trying to do one at the moment to finish it all off. Where I'm, tr- it's it's not it's not favourite. It's it's I have a whole I have a series of um, sort of like these miserable people in Glendalough, but I've started doing the sky in the Ukrainian colours because I think it's kind of hard not to think about that at the moment. And uh, it's just, but but that's not that's not really favourite. We're hoping it's not yoga. I have a friend who is a Komnye teacher, which is a form of yoga, and basically it's about very much into uh, uh, the use of the body as an expressive language. So she is going to do um, uh, some kind of response to the opening event in a Komnye way. <laughs>